Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel and you must be thinking that why I have opened this ARXIV website which is well known to download research papers. So recently I've got an idea to build an app where you can you know directly talk to the papers of uh, different topics from this ARXIV website. So let's see how it works and I have come across a paper called Style TTS 2 that, that is uh, text to speech conversion and let's say I want to just for demonstration download one paper and when I hit search it will go to ARXIV uh, website and download available papers on this topic and once it is downloaded it will convert it into vectors and once the vectors are created we can talk to uh, the downloaded paper in this uh, chat like uh, <coughs> can you explain what is style TTS yeah so we got the answer and I think it is fairly good. So if you want to learn how to build this amazing application, then watch the video till the end. I'll explain all the steps required to build this application. First, let's understand the flow. So ARXIV as python package and with the help of that python package you can search papers so what we'll do is that we will build a user interface using gradio and on the first uh, section of this application we will write a search query and number of papers that we want to download and here there will be some uh, reference uh, indication of the uh, ongoing steps so from that interface we will take the prompt or uh, query or the or the or the term that you want to search on arxiv and then number of papers and with the help of uh, that arxiv python package we will download the papers then create index and store it into vector database in order to create index or vectors we will use a uh, sentence transformer okay and in order to store our vectors we will use quadrant in this tutorial i'm not going to explain more about the sentence transformer and uh, vector store so feel free to replace sentence transformer with open ai embeddings and quadrant with you know face or chroma db or pinecone any of your choices once the vector are created then with the help of this uh, another interface where we have this chat interface user will write a query we will have the query and chat history with the help of that query and sentence transformer we will convert that query into vector uh, search for similar vectors so with the help of this similar vectors we will create a prompt which will be our base prompt then the context which is this similar vectors uh, chat history and recent query with the help of these four things we will create a prompt pass it to chat gpt or you know uh, gpt 3.5 or gpt 4 and then generate a response and then show it in this chat interface uh, before we further move into the steps i would like to show you that quadrant is very easy to use and you know uh, i guess lightweight uh, vector store and what you can do is that once you have docker installed on your system you uh, run first this command that will download the quadrant image and then 
with the help of this command you will uh, start the uh, quadrant vector store and then you can use it and once you start this uh, vector store you can have the ui as well if i refresh this we will see this uh, collection created with the previous action okay uh, and you can find the information about that as well and i have found that quadrant is you know very convenient to use on my part but you can choose any of the services and in order to use open ai you will need open ai api key and you can download it from the open ai platform now let's look into the code section so here in the code section since i am using sentence transformer i have downloaded the uh, the the model and the related stuff to run the model now first let's look into the configuration so i have this config.py here i have all the configuration i am reading the environment file i have my error message then i have my quadrant setting so this is the quadrant url when you run it on local uh, i'm creating a quadrant client then i'm creating a collection name so whenever you run uh, this application it will create one collection like uh, this then i have embedding setting so i'm using from lang chain embeddings i'm using hugging face embeddings and i'm using uh, all mpnet base v2 if you don't have this on your machine when you provide this it will download it as well and since i have gpu on my machine i'm using cuda and uh, finally i have this uh, directory structure ARXIV PDFs in which uh, the papers will be downloaded uh, into the directory that is created by the query of the search term. And next we have this index.py which creates vectors on the vector store. So this is pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm loading a directory and in order to read the PDF, I'm using this PyPDF2 loader from Langchain and then uh, we'll, we'll load the documents, then split the documents into small parts of the chunks and then, you know, use uh, quadrant from documents, provide the documents. Uh, embedding function collection name and uh, quadrant url and it will create the uh, collection and insert vectors into that then i have this conversation pi here i'm doing lots of stuff first i'm creating a open ai model for uh, communication through lang chain then i have uh this create conversation uh, function which receives the chat history uh, the last will be the current question i'm creating vector db from lang chain i have this system prompt which is you are a helpful assistant and then i'm formatting the context chat history and current question uh what i'm doing here is condense user query so it happens that many times user you know say a follow or user asks a follow-up question which is not correctly formatted so with the help of this function i'm i'm you know creating a standalone question once it is done i'm using similarity search on the vector db to find the similar documents then i'm formatting the chat history and context so here we will receive a list of list 
chat history from uh, the front end and then you know i'm um, since uh, since the last entry in this chat history will have two element one is current query and second none cause the response is not generated so i'm um, you know uh, discarding the last element and then format the chat history as human and ai then also i'm formatting the context uh, just appending the context in a new line so with the help of these four element condensed query similarity search formatting chat history and formatting context i'm creating a prompt and once the prompt is created i get a response uh, i just clean the response and append it into chat history so the last part is this gradio ui so here uh, we have used a tab interface in which the first part is the is the part where we download the paper and create the index and the second part is where we create a chat uh, chat interface with the help of chatbot uh, text box and clear button uh, if you want to learn more about these elements of gradio you can watch one of my lectures on uh, gradio and creating tabbed interface as well so yeah i guess these are the things uh, we have configuration then we have a function or file to create indexes then we have something to handle the <coughs> uh, conversation and i guess i forgot to show this uh, arxiv call where i have created a function which uses this uh, package and download the papers based on the search terms and number of papers that we want to download and finally i guess i have this run.py here uh, we get the the gradio ui and convert that into a fast api app and then run the application using uh, yeah so let me show you this as well so here uh, this is system message that you are a helpful assistant then this is context so this much amount is context i guess and here the chat history where human said something like this and ai has replied with this thing and finally human has asked this question and ai will generate a response and in order to run this application you will need to uh, run this command uh, uvcon and the file name then colon app and then reload in case you are making changes uh, to the application and you want to see the changes right away so in this way you can build uh, yeah this application and you can you know talk to the downloaded papers as well i'll say thank you for oh i guess the application is yeah not running yeah so i guess this is it from my part of the video and the code used here is available on my github and the link for it is in the description in case you like my work please consider subscribing to my channel that helps Thank you for watching. Peace.